all the power, the specifications, the performance, and the price, the Samsung Galaxy Note 10.1, the 2014 edition, does come with a lot of interesting features. First up is the slightly redesigned TouchOS UI. This is a little less loaded than the previous version of the TouchOS that we saw on the previous edition of this 10.1 tablet. It's lighter, it's a lot smoother, and the fact that the widgets have been slightly redone means you get a more pruned selection of whatever you want on your multiple home screens. Which in turn basically means that your performance of the tablet is slightly better because there's a slightly lighter skin which is loading the entire power package. Most interesting is the S Pen feature. It's got the complete feature set that you would see on a Note tablet or a Note smartphone, whatever you like to call it. Take the S Pen out of the tablet bay and what you get here is an air command menu. It's got multiple options, the pen window, the S finder, screen right, scrapbooker and the action memo. Now quite frankly while this feature is extremely neat the fact that there's there's just too much around it means you may not really be able to ever use the entire gamut of options. What I really like is the action memo. You quickly scribble something here and save. Action memo saved. Now, where it all is. This is your action memo app. What I just typed, same thing here. I mean, it's just, just a, a rough scribble, which is saved here. The other interesting feature apart from that is the multi-window feature. Now, still there are limited apps that support this, but the fact that these do just, just adds a lot to your productivity. So you can open Chrome and you can open, let's say, a video. So you will have two things running there. You can probably play a video here. You can work on your mails here. So that's as simple as that. You can resize that and there you go. Double tap the home button and what you go is into the S voice feature. However, long pressing the home key brings you to the task manager. You can close apps here and you're back to the home screen after that. What I love about this tablet is the fact that the software and the hardware gel quite well, which is quite rare for and, and has always been a stumbling block for most of the other tablets despite having very good power packages. This one is extremely smooth to use. Apps open and close very quickly. And the simple, the simple fact of the matter is that the fact the TouchWiz UI has been lightened makes a lot of difference. Now TouchWiz has always been one of the slightly lighter skins around an Android operating system but still over a period of time it has become a little bloated. Samsung has cleaned it up again which is extremely nice. There are lots of features around. Multi-window is something that we basically swear by. You, you have your little positives about the S Pen feature as well. We just, we just hope that Samsung doesn't overload the entire ecosystem with too many apps which which is which has been a problem with Samsung for quite a while again you have the smart stay feature which is again something we've seen on the galaxy range of smartphones you have the airview feature which works very well if you if you're browsing through a million emails and sms's so all in all the feature set is pretty similar to what you get in the galaxy range of smartphones there are, there is the extra addition and it's it's mostly in the right direction we just hope Samsung doesn't overload its tablets with just too many features that you may or may not use at the end of it all but it all becomes extremely inundating for any consumer.